this is just part of land management. You know, we got a farm and I've kind of taught myself a lot of stuff, but when it comes to chainsaws and heights and all that, I ain't comfortable with that. And he is. I ain't, I pretty much ain't scared of nothing except snakes. I can handle anything. Ghosts, <laughs> Bigfoot, UFO, I'm good with all that. But a, a chainsaw to me is kind of like a, a loaded pistol. I tell people all the time, I'm married so far over my head, I need a step ladder to shave in the morning. And, uh, <laughs> It's her. It's her. You got a name for it? I don't. You don't. I, don't. I got you. You had yeah. to, to name it here. It's Yaya's game. I don't ever get in it. It's off limits to me. I got a 2007 Ranger that I use in a golf cart. So this is a uh, this is a treat for me too, man. You getting the you getting the 25 cents? I got you. You said it's the biggest one ever. You flew a drone around, and I was like. Man, you know what? I'm just gonna call him and see if he's got time. I know he's busy, 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 but we uh I'm gonna see if he can get it down and we can make a video about it because this is uh this is just part of land management. You know, we got a farm and I've kind of taught myself a lot of stuff, but when it comes to chainsaws and heights and all that, I ain't comfortable with that. And he is. So there we're you gonna go. we're gonna try to figure out if Cotton Top can get it down and uh I can tell you this, I don't have a splitter big enough, but just from the remnants, I'll have firewood for decades. It have plenty of firewood right Thanks there. Thing. Plenty of firewood, sure will. So, Simi's has got his camera out right there, and I'm filming him, he's filming me. We're going to uh, we're gonna make a project out of this for Cuss 411 and Cotton Top, and uh, we'll keep y'all posted. So, a little tidbit about Cuz here for the people who may not know or anything. You see a shirt right there. It says Mossy Oak on it. Ronnie Cuz Strickland is the face of Mossy Oak. Boy, that don't say much. <laughs> Holy cow. Ambassador, face, everything. And uh, so Cuz goes way, way back. Uh, Will Primos, uh, Primos hunting long with time. him a long time ago. And... Mm -hmm. And Tim Cotton Top knows all about that because he mm -hmm. was uh, he was deep into it. He still got some old school bottomland, some of the original stuff. Mm -hmm. And right. I've been looking at his YouTube channel forever. And I hadn't been to his chainsaw class yet, but that's coming. That's, that's on right. my bucket list. Because I tell people all the time, to me, <clears throat> and I ain't I'm pretty much ain't scared of nothing except snakes. I can handle anything, ghosts, <laughs> Bigfoot, UFO. I'm good with all that. But a, a chainsaw. To me, is kind of like a, a loaded pistol. You think everybody thinks they I got this. A chainsaw will hurt you That's right. big time, especially when you're dealing with heights and pressure and stuff snapping. Sure. Will. And some people understand that, and mm -hmm. some people don't. So me. I ain't scared to call the cavalry, <laughs> and that's cotton. That's cotton top right there. Oh yeah. So what we're doing, we're just out here touring around. We're talking about a lot of different stuff today and and just uh, reminiscing, going back in history a little bit and looking at uh, some of Cuz's trees. He made a post on Instagram, and that's another thing I want to touch on. Very big on Instagram. Uh, there, what's your, your Instagram? Cuz Strickland on Instagram. Cuz Strickland. Cuz Strickland on Facebook. And, uh, you know, some of the... A lot of old guys don't do social media, but you know what? It's uh, it keeps me in touch with younger people, especially on Instagram. Sure. And at Mossy Oak, you know, we got gamekeepers and kennels and trees, mm -hmm. and uh, you got stuff like this. You need to let people know what's going on. That's right. It's uh, it's part of wildlife management. So your next newest biggest thing y'all got going now is a little low podcast. Yep called fistful of dirt fistful of dirt. fistful of dirt every tuesday <laughs> every tuesday is a new podcast and 
And I got to tell you, a couple of years ago, I didn't know what a podcast was, but my youngest daughter, Lauren, who used to edit a lot of the TV stuff, she's into them big time. And Chris Hawley and David Hawley from Moss Hill Properties approached and said, we, we want to do a podcast. We want you to do it. And I'm like, man, I don't know. But one thing I've always been good at is talking and reaching out to people. Mm -hmm. So that's what we started doing. And uh, we roll that thing out there and it's just going crazy for whatever reason. Some people say it's good tips and it's good folks and it's G rated, but for whatever reason, the fistful of Pod, the fistful of dirt podcast is doing great. And I can tell you right now who my next guest is going to be, and I'm going to tell you it's going to be two parts. <laughs> it's going it's going to be this man right here, and we're going to talk about chainsaws and maintenance and safety mm -hmm. because everybody loves to get their own firewood. Everybody wants to be more sure. self reliant. Sure. And if this guy right here is nothing else, mm -hmm. he's one of those people. And if you follow him on Cotton Top, you know he knows how to do everything. So while he's here helping me with my dilemma, I'm gonna pick his brain. <laughs> there and, we go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get trained in some other areas. The I'm gonna add to the fistful of dirt why it's so popular. There's 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 it's, it's like baking a cake. It's a recipe. Yeah. You got to have the right amount of everything. One, because of you, your personality is from the heart yeah. and the content that you present and the people that you bring in behind a microphone is what makes it what it is. Well, I appreciate and, you saying that. And, and that, that's what it all boils down to. You said it two or three times since we've been talking this morning. It's about relationships. That's it. And, and that's what it all boils down to. I have a motto that I say all the time that I use in my videos and, and everything, and, and you live by this, and I know that. In life, you only get what you give. That's right. And that's it. Let that me is. tell you something. And the more you give, stuff starts coming back that's pretty right. soon. You can't give enough away. But That's right. You know, my favorite show on television forever, I don't even remember the name of it, and it doesn't come on anymore, but it came on Sunday mornings on CBS and this guy would take a dart and he would throw it at the United States map wherever mm -hmm. it landed. He'd go to that closest town mm -hmm. and he would get in the phone book, in the phone booth. A lot of y'all don't know mm -hmm. what a phone booth is. Yeah. And he would just go boom. He'd pick a name, he'd go to that house and he would find out what their story was because mm -hmm. everybody's got a story. That's right. And everybody's interesting. You don't have to have a million followers or a million subscribers to be special that's right and i kind of find those people who are really good at what they do and they're interesting and everybody wants to know how to do better at firewood or chickens we talked about raising chickens mm -hmm. and getting those eggs the other day mm -hmm. people want to know that kind of stuff it's a new day and you can say covid kind of made everybody aware of that but in my mind that ain't going away that's right it's going to stick around so when you can find people who can help you be better mm -hmm. like tim you better latch on to it. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Make a video about it because this is uh, this is just part of the land management. You know, we got a farm, and I've kind of taught myself a lot of stuff. But when it comes to chainsaws and heights and all, <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're following them now. We're going to eat lunch here. I've done been in their house. I've done looked at cousins' deer hanging on the wall. I mean, just. All up in the midst of everything. I'm not sure what's going on. I may, if, yeah, I may get drugged here in a minute. Y'all may not ever see me again. Hey, Tim, if this is a big deal, you need to get out more. There you go. So we just got through with lunch, just kind of doing a vlog here. And it's part of what I do with the YouTube is always great to get to meet people and talk to them and interact with them and, and what have you. So, cuz here is the the face of mossy oak camouflage and a lot of outdoor stuff and everything but of course you've got the better half right there right there in the back that probably a lot of people probably don't, not don't see very much do they no they do not and she uh you're talking about the heartbeat of what's going on she uh that's her right there yeah, she worked there forever and she's she's uh She's the reason we got that little farm out there. She's uh, She's been the player. So I was just asking him, you know, I like to kind of know a little bit and ask him how long they've been married. He said 40 
eight years. Kind of, if we make it to this next turkey season, that'll be 48 years. Then. What do you mean if we make it? And, uh, well, you never know when she's going to kick me out. I look for it every day. I tell people all the time, I'm married so far over my head, I need a stepladder to shave in the morning. And uh, <laughs> if everybody looks at her and at me, and they're like, hey, dude, what's wrong with her eyesight? And I'm like, hey, I don't know. But, uh, lucky. It's just your magnetic lovable personality hey, or something in it i hey, guess huh? when you look like this you got to have a sound game That's yeah all I can do. you better be able to talk to talk or something huh you better be able to do it that's right it certainly wasn't uh she didn't marry me for money i promise you that so but whatever happened it happened and it stuck so that's a good thing and that's kind of rare these days and people ask you about it all the time and i tell them hey if you want to stay married first off you got to pick somebody that you can live with your whole life and two it's got to be a team it That's can't right. be about me and it can't be about her it's got to be about us yeah. and some people can handle that and some people can't but i tell people all the time we were so poor we had no safety net it's like you either form a team and make it or you don't that's right so everything else is just noise you you look back over things over 40 years of you being down in the Atches down there yeah. and now up here and you're you've made a career in the hunting industry man I mean it's like me I've made a career off of saw chips yeah you know and who'd have thought that you could make a career over 40 years doing something that you absolutely freaking love to do in the first place yeah it's a uh yeah divine intervention that's right you know and uh you know you hear people say things you think oh that's corny but if you find something you really love to do you won't work a day in your life and i still feel like man i you know i've just kind of been coasting now you hear other people say man they did this and i worked plenty of 80 hour weeks and i drove the u-haul to las vegas and it wouldn't do but 50 miles and you don't think about that at the time you just do what you got to do but it's yeah divine intervention and sometimes god moves people around and just shuffles them into the right spot mine has been luck i've been the luckiest guy on the planet that's some of it sitting in the back seat and the rest of it's on my chest but yeah i've been i've been lucky with kids and people and jobs and everything else so 40 some odd years yep. in the industry it goes by like that don't it snap your fingers yes sir people don't realize that especially young ones but it's like man snap your fingers it's you're not here long so mm -hmm. don't don't waste every day toxy says all the time he's like i don't care what you got you can have ten thousand acres you can have 50 mac log trucks and 10 skidders and a pocket full of money but the most valuable thing you own is your time Correct. You got to be careful how you spend your time because it's like when we get through visiting today and you go home and the sun says it's gone. It's gone. You got to wait. Like it. That's right. Don't waste any of them. <laughs> so you don't let many people come in here, do you? Well, you know, it's just it actually hadn't been finished that long. This used to be uh, just just a metal building mm -hmm. when we uh, moved out here in the country. Right. And it's got a little apartment on one side, and this was the shop. And uh, now it ain't a shop like Tim's got. Tim's got the shop Mahal out there at his <laughs> place. But anyway, we uh, we built the house, and people always came and hung out over here. So we just made this what we call the the man den. And we uh, yeah, we, we have people out here all the time. So so y'all, that's see one of your right heroes there. right that's there. Right. That's right. Yeah, uh, back in the day, Dale Earnhardt. Personal friends with the Intimidator, Dale. Well, you himself. know, he was an acquaintance. He was on the Remington TV show with us. Right. We did Remington Country, and he kind of did a thing called uh, uh, Hunting Facts, or he he did a great job. But yeah, he used to be on the Remington Outdoors TV show, and he uh, when they named him the Intimidator, he was right. Man, he was something else. But <laughs> yeah, I've been able to to meet some pretty cool people you know and, and been blessed and uh and actually my wife and one of my buddies put this picture to all these together bo jackson yeah <laughs> yeah bo knows camo i got That's a picture right. of him and Ma Selk says bo knows camo and you're talking about a great guy and one of the best hunters you ever seen in your life we filmed him duck hunting 
and he had an old sweet 16. You know really? Uh huh. Is. Yeah. And he could, he would take three shells and put them in his fingers like that, and he could load that gun after it was empty faster than anything I've ever seen. Get them back in there. Yes, sir. While the ducks was circling and everything. Oh, un unbelievable. It was. Uh, Jeff Foxworthy right there. He's a big gamekeeper. Yeah. You can tell I'm a wrestling fan. That's oh the, yeah. You know I got Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin up there, Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid, Ted DiBiase. Right. Rick Flair, big wrestling fan. It don't take much to entertain me, I'm telling you. So, but uh, yeah, those were all <clears throat> special moments. You never forget stuff like that. I don't. Been blessed to meet them. So this is kind of a uh, a cool little deal here. Um, it, <laughs> I've been wanting to reach out to Cuz for a long time, and y'all going to get to hear some of the history uh, that goes back with me, even back in the 80s and, and what have you. But... I just was reluctant to reach out because I, I felt like you were, or I thought I didn't want to. I don't want to bother anybody because I know I know they're busy, you know. And so, Cuz posted a picture on Instagram last night of a tree blow down, and it was a big oak. And I was like, "Here's my opportunity." So <laughs> I sent him an email last night. And I mean, well, I like to fill out. Little did he know, I've been following him since he had yeah. a YouTube channel. I was like, <clears throat> I, you know, it's like, you, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's right. like, you needing some military help, and General Patton just called. I'm like, <laughs> heck yeah, man, here's my <laughs> cell number, call me. Well, he emailed me back. It's about nine o'clock when I sent him the message, and he emailed me right back, and I'm like, dang, dude, just email me back. You know, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not calling him not. I'm not going to text him not or anything. I'll wait. So this morning, like at six o'clock, you had messaged me yeah. again and said, here's my phone number that, you know, text me or call me, you know, and I'm like, I'll just wait till seven. I'll wait till seven, you know? So it was pretty funny. He called, he said, can I call you? And I was like, heck yeah, you can call me. So he and called I did. me. Yeah, he called me. And, and I've been wearing him out. And I told him, I said, look, this, it, it ain't like I need somebody to help me cut some firewood up. I I, I got that. Mm -hmm. This is a mess. We went and looked at it. Sure. This sure. is a tangled, dangerous mess that I got down there, and I needed some professional help. It's some it's some technical stuff Whoa. that he's got going on down there, and yeah. uh, you'll see a video of it. And we're gonna be doing some stuff together. He's helped me a lot. He's a marketing guru on things, and so we've been visiting uh, for several hours now, but you're gonna see some more stuff with us uh, together in the future, and because there's a lot of things that we can do to help promote one another, and that's what the whole uh, social media thing is, is a community. It's just a large community. That's right, relationship. And, and the biggest thing about me and Cuz is, is we are, uh, outdoor lovers and enthusiasts and we want to promote that uh, in a fashion that it keeps people following in our footsteps the younger generation to where that they can enjoy uh, God's beauty on this earth and what he's presented for us and and what we can do to promote it and preserve it for them for later on in life and that's what it's all about amen and people can people know when you're sincere and all that and I, it's not like it most it's not a marketing plan it's just how we roll and it's mm -hmm. just how you roll so mm -hmm. you know uh hey divine intervention oh yeah <laughs> the only thing wrong with this is we were supposed to meet like years ago but we, <laughs> we got to meet now and i'm gonna watch the technical part of you take that tree down because that's fascinating mm -hmm, to me because right. i know how dangerous it is but mm -hmm. that's right up your bailiwick so oh, yeah. man I, I i'm way more excited you're here than you are to be here I really promise, <laughs> yes sir i promise you well i, I that is that is so cool it's humbling too but uh i you welcome me in and your wife she just she's right on board with everything yes, and sir. i mean I, i've had the greatest time today over here with you so uh well i appreciate it we ain't done yet we're gonna make some more movies and all that and shoot the drones and oh, yeah. do all kind of cool stuff and mm -hmm. i'm gonna try to talk him into expanding expanding that whole cotton top three world because it's pretty awesome i yeah, really yeah. i really enjoy it oh yeah so i'm gonna let you do my later taters that i always do at the end of my video and everything that kind of closes it and mm -hmm. stuff but like i said again 
I appreciate your hospitality and welcoming in, even inside your house there, you know, and uh, very, very cool. Hey, hey man, it's, uh, you know, you, you don't have but X amount of days and X amount of days and time, and mm -hmm. I've gotten particular who I spend them with, and, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, you kind of look for like-minded people, and you one of them. Mm -hmm. And if I get to learn to run a chainsaw a little better, hey, so be it. Right. <laughs> well, you're going to get to do that. You're right. going to get to do that. That ain't going to be a problem. So give me on one, on three, on one, two, three, you give me the later taters. One, two, three. Later taters. There we go. I purposely saved this video for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. What an incredible opportunity to be able to hang out with Cus Strickland, spend the day with him, Miss Pam, a true joy. She is a hoot. I'm telling you, a hoot. There's no telling where this may go. This is a huge opportunity for me, for my brand to be able to do this or take it by the coattails. Life is all about opportunities. Recognizing the opportunities and then grabbing hold of them with both fists and riding a coattail of that opportunity till it just won't go no more. That's what it's all about and what you do with it after that. Hope y'all have a great Sunday today. Be good, as Buck and Billy Ray says a lot in his videos. Be kind. Life's all about how you treat others. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.